everyone, good morning and welcome back to another YouTube video from Paris, <laughs> from currently the Seine. I'm walking across it. So yesterday I left off, the last thing I did in the vlog pretty much was I went to see the pyramids at the Louvre and I went to the Marly Cafe. But today I'm actually going to go in the Louvre so I have a ticket for 10 a.m. this morning and um, I'm really excited. I know the Louvre is one of the big things to see, so gotta go see it. Hopefully I'll get a peek at the Mona Lisa. I heard that it's like super crowded and like everyone's trying to take a selfie with it and whatever, so I don't know, we shall see. But yeah, I'm just looking forward to it and <laughs> thought I'd take you guys along with me. no words I'm speechless I was totally getting lost and I like asked this girl for directions and then I, I got lost and I came back and I saw her again and I asked and I was so lost and she actually asked her friend who was visiting to show me so her friend just walked me all the way over here and we were talking and she said that she was a historian and like how she really wants to come to New York and see the map I just thought that it was so nice and I'm just so grateful and I don't know I just you guys know I love these moments so yeah but I made my way to this thing so down here I'm going to explore after it's beautiful and then over here is um this um, Neapolitan wing Neapolitan the third's apartment I spent so many hours there like I, I lost track of time it's like it's funny once you're in there there's so much to see so much to do and it was breathtaking like I said I just loved it so yeah I came back here and I just ate a little lunch and I took a nap because the Met, not the Met, gosh, the Louvre really, really tired me out. I was like so ready to fall asleep. I was trying to fight it because I want to get on the right time zone, but 
I just couldn't. So anyways, I just woke up and I put on a red lip. I kind of smudged it out a little bit. Violet FR called it that chest bitten look. It's not too perfect, but it's just a little bit. So I kind of like lined my lid, like lined the outline of the lips. And then I took my finger and I kind of just smudged the rest in. So it's, it's not like super like stark red lip but it's nice it is actually the red lip that i met one of my subscribers danielle and she gave me she had this little mini dior 999 the classic red and she had like a mini one that she said it just wasn't her color but she knew that i would love it and she gave it to me and i brought it with me so thank you but yeah so i am just going to i'm staring at the eiffel tower this is just like Sorry guys, I get distracted easily. I feel like that's gonna happen a lot to me. Maybe I'll get used to it though. But yeah, so I don't wanna waste the rest of the day, so I'm going to go back outside. I think I'm gonna do a little shopping. I wanna hit up Zara, cause every time I visit a country, I always get really inspired by what most of the other girls are wearing. And so I wanna try to find some things that I should have packed but didn't. So yeah, I'm going to look around do some shopping, continue just exploring the city until, basically until things kind of close down and it gets dark outside, hopefully. to call me and just be like a familiar voice and to reassure me she loves Paris and she gave me even more recommendations. So I just got back, so I went to Zara and then actually right across from the Zara there was, I'm, I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, I, I can just tell you right now, I can't pronounce this right, but it was Le Bon Marche. And then right across from it was La Epicerie. Bon Marche was a department store, but like a really good one. They were celebrating their, I think it's 170th anniversary. So they had this whole setup in the middle there and just like so many cool brands that I, that are just like so French or so nice. It was a really, really nice department store. So I really, really enjoyed that. And then across from it, there was the La Epicerie and it was like gourmet food market. Like just the cheeses and the like j jams and the <laughs> I got a baguette. I wanted to buy everything, but I was like, no, Taylor, like, come on, you're just by yourself right now. <laughs> but I did get a baguette for $1.20. So I'm going to make soup in a bit for dinner. And I'm going to have some bread with it to, you know, dip into the soup or just to have something solid. <laughs> oh, I got one thing from Zara. So I thought that it was kind of cool. It is this blue houndstooth blazer. I thought that it was really cool and I don't know I just felt like it was a nice kind of statement piece over like a little mini skirt and like top outfit. I just I don't know I thought that it would be very very cool to pair and it has these like white and gold buttons on it so I thought that was cool. The only thing I said it has shoulder pads but I feel like I can get past that. It's fine. 
yeah it came out to it was on sale actually so it, it was actually only like 40 euros so not bad <laughs> oh my gosh i just keep thinking about the Le Bon Marsh. like everything in there was just beautiful like and so like french and just uh, i'm so happy that i came here i'm like straining myself <laughs> financially not like not like i'm pushing myself past like what i can do but like this isn't cheap but <laughs> but i'm just like you know those tiktoks where people are like i will make my money back but i will not be ever be in my 20s in xyz country doing xyz things and it's true like i will never again be in my 20s in paris <laughs> so so yeah i'm just trying to make the most of it but anyways i got one more thing <laughs> that i want to show you so this is Corel. this is like a french shoe brand i've had my eye on these for a while and since i've been here kind of like walking around I always have my eye on like what are the French girls wearing. I've noticed a lot of black loafers and I didn't want to like really buy into the, that trend too much because loafers aren't really me. I got those brown leather ones and I kind of regret it a little bit because they don't really go with a lot of my outfits. They go with some of them but I feel like my look is more elevated, you know, that's what I love. So anyways, these are like very classic. French girl shoes but they are these they're like babies with the heel they are a patent leather and they're pink on the inside and then black on the outside which I know shocker I feel like lately since I've been dipping into black a little bit more like for example this dress that I wore what was it yesterday or the day before I can't even remember anymore, but I just wore it like that with these. I feel like that'd be really cute. They even looked really cute with the outfit that I'm wearing today. So I just felt like they elevated an outfit and I don't know. How do you guys feel about me wearing more black? Not like all black, not like a full like dark ensemble, but just like little accents of black instead of brown, you know, kind of like... Just like a little a little accent of it a little punctuation mark um so anyways i don't know i love them i'm really happy and yeah yeah that's pretty much it for right now i'm just going to make some dinner and my youtube video is going live in about 30 minutes so i'm really excited for you guys to see it and excited to see your reactions and your comments so yes that is all i'm going to make some soup for dinner <laughs> veggies going I've got leeks carrots and onions and I just had to get creative just now because for the beef stock they didn't have any like stock already they only had these packets at the grocery store and basically you have to like steep it kind of like tea in hot boiling water and it has to be a liter and I don't know, like, we use the metric system, we don't really, well, do we use liters? I don't even know. We don't really use liters that often. <laughs> so anyways, I looked at my water bottle, and I saw on here that it's, yeah, right there it says 1.5 liters. So I drank, I only had, like, a tiny bit left in it, and I drank it, and I filled this up, and I found this really big mug. So I poured that water into here. I boiled this and then I steeped it in, in here and <laughs> that's it. So yeah, I hope that it works out and that this all tastes good, but it's smelling amazing right now. There's like tons of butter in here. <laughs> so hopefully it's gonna be really good. If it is, I will 
I'll put the recipe in the description. There is a refrigerator, but there's no like oven. There's only a stove, so I can only like make stuff on the stove. I can't really use the oven while I'm here. This has to stir. But yeah, so that's all right. I'm gonna make the most of it. I do have a microwave too, so I can microwave stuff, but yep. soup is done it smells amazing I hope that it tastes amazing I think that it will last thing I'm going to do is just try a little bit and then add some more salt or pepper to taste Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> that's a very good soup I like that a lot okay I'll post the recipe seize the day I guess I don't know <laughs> explore the day with my little Emily in Paris phone case <laughs> so my plan for today I texted myself like what I wanted to do today <laughs> I want to visit the Rouge store that is Jen Demas, um like clothing fashion beauty brand she has an actual store only in Paris uh, actually I think like three stores in Paris but I'm gonna go to the, the main one the flagship after that I might head over to Cafe Kitsun or Kitsune and maybe I'm gonna try to get a Navigo pass again last time I tried to do it I couldn't get the machine to work so hopefully it'll work this time if I try and then maybe I'll go to the go see Notre Dame and the little Shakespeare and Co bookshop so yeah that's the plan just nothing major just kind of you know exploring around the city walking around see what i find yeah. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes Oh yeah But there is no need for sorrow Cause I will be with you every second of my life Sometimes it's just another day to get through But it's not easy when you fly from the truth 
make it all right It was successful. I got a really cute pink jacket that I will show you guys. And I also got a classic black eyeliner and a lipstick and a little like shimmer palette. So really cute stuff. And I just walked over here to Cafe Kitsune. Kitsune. Um, this is one that I know is like famous for being in Paris and then I, we, have, we have one in New York too in the West Village which I tried it a couple weeks ago and it was very good so I got an ice latte and a little piece of vodka and I'm just enjoying it sitting outside here by this fountain <laughs> it's a really really nice day actually The day is coming to a close and I don't know I just feel really really happy I feel like just constantly in awe over Paris and it's just so beautiful and so nice and relaxing I don't know um, yeah and I really enjoyed going to the Shakespeare and Co bookstore that was something that Lyle told me about um, the last time that I came to Paris like when we came to Paris together last year and so I wanted to go back because I wanted to see Notre Dame today and I didn't realize last time that there's the whole upstairs which is just like the reading area it's just I don't know really kind of like relaxing and inspiring I feel like Parisians really know how to or just like maybe it's French people I don't really know <laughs> they just know how to relax and rest and take a break and I just I don't know I feel very very inspired um I feel like when I'm vlogging it's like my video diary like I'm just sitting on my bed like <laughs> I don't know talking to you guys but 
I feel like I've been shopping a lot and I hope that'll probably slow down the longer that I'm here, but right now I'm just like still so excited. I had always wanted to go to this place, Rouge. So if anybody knows Jeanne de Ma, she is a French like influencer blogger. She is the epitome of just like casual French cool girl, like effortless cool girl chic. She grew up with her her parents owned a restaurant and she kind of just hung around there and just was like very very kind of honest and genuine and my parents also owned a restaurant um, when I was growing up and I always was hung, hanging around there too so I kind of feel her in that way. So I've always 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 wanted to visit her store. I own things from her brand. Um, I got for Christmas last year some like of her beauty products and I own her shoes. Um, but I've always wanted to, oh, and I have the, the pink, the coffee table book. But <laughs> I've always wanted to go to her store in person and I saw this really cute jacket which is a little, a little bit less expensive than some of the other jackets that were there. And I've been needing a kind of like shorter, a shorter jacket just for like a day when I don't need a long jacket, but just like something to kind of throw over my shoulders. And I thought that this one was super cute and very me. It's uh, got this little collar and it's almost like a, I don't know if this is the right term, but like, I don't know if this is a boucle fabric, but kind of. And the buttons are also covered in the fabric. So I got that and then some beauty products. So there's a picture of Jen in the store and she's wearing red lipstick, of course. And I asked the woman who worked there what shade she's wearing. And she said she's pretty much in most pictures is wearing her namesake color. And that is this one. So they have it in like, it almost looked like a nail polish bottle so they had that one I thought that was cool then they had this one was a little bit cheaper probably like ten dollars cheaper and it's longer almost like a pencil but it's a lipstick and this one's more matte so I figured I don't know for the winter time that that would be really nice so I'm excited to try that and then I've had my eye on for a long time her La Palette the palette visage it looks like this and I have her lip palette but this one is like all of these shimmery shimmery shades so like highlighters it could be lipstick it could be blush it could be whatever you want it to be but I don't know I thought that it was cool so yeah and then it came in a nice tote bag and that's pretty much it and right now I'm texting my friend Jessica who's coming in two weeks or week or so and well, almost like two weeks week and a half and we're just planning stuff <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm just watching Netflix and just you know having a night to myself <laughs> I want to try the lipstick I know it's like I'm not going anywhere now at this point but wanted to try it because it's so small it's like easy to do it like a liner it's like easy to get in the corners too I don't know I like it okay so that's cool and then now for the palette I just am like yeah it's very nice oh yeah it's super pretty I like that I love this one right here this like pink I feel like I probably, this one in the middle is a little too warm for me. But this brown on the side maybe would be nice as a eyeshadow. Oh yeah, that's like a really kind of casual nice. I love it. Okay, now let's try maybe this as like a blush. I like it. It's cool. Very pretty. I feel like this could just look nice just in your purse.
it is Wednesday morning now. I have come to the Arc de Triomphe and today is my like do your day kind of. I know people always say like oh today is do your day during um, Paris Fashion Week but for me today is do your day <laughs> because I'm wearing a Dior inspired dress I guess and that it's like tulle and a pretty A-line skirt and it's like I don't know it looks pretty when I spin <laughs> it's like flowy and I'm going to the Dior gallery so Dior has this like museum of the Dior dresses and I think they had they brought it to Brooklyn like maybe I want to say like a year ago or so I can't really remember I think it was a year ago and I went to that and I loved it but everyone keeps telling me you need to go to the one here too you will love it so I'm going to go to that today so I kind of planned my day around here I started off at the Arc de Triomphe and I just took some pictures and some videos and just tried to really kind of capture the moment the sun's really the sun is coming up right now it's pretty early in the morning so I wanted to get that golden hour <laughs> glow I guess and so yeah, I'm doing this and then I have a little bit of time. My tour ticket isn't until 1 p.m. So I am going to first get a little breakfast. I haven't eaten breakfast yet at La Durée, hopefully, if, if they'll let me. I don't know, maybe they have like a counter where you can just buy stuff. I'm going to do that and then maybe see some shops and then go to the Dior Gallery. I don't know, I'm just really excited about Oh, and I am wearing my Dior shoes. Oh shoot, that reminds me. I meant to wear my Dior clip, but, um, but I forgot. So whatever, I'll wear it some other time. But, oh, it's just so pretty. shopping afterwards on the Champs-Élysées and then I'm going to the Dior gallery right now and I just passed back there they're shooting a movie for Dior how cool is that it, they had like a whole set and flowers 
and just people all dressed up in kind of like a time period way. I don't know, it's just really, really beautiful and fun to see. So yeah, I can't wait to go to the Dior Gallery now. today's vlog I'm going to end this one here but yeah I mean basically what happened I got I came home and I ate some soup again <laughs> I've just been like eating the soup I find that because I've been like shopping for clothes and stuff I'd like rather spend my money on something that I can keep rather than food that just like goes away I don't know I'm weird like that but actually I don't think that's that weird. I don't know. I'm like, okay, the way that I can save my money is by just like make cooking at home rather than eating out and eating leftovers. So like the soup, for example, was super cheap to make. And I stretched that out, out over the last three dinners that I've had. <laughs> and I got the salads I made for lunch and well, with the exception of Lottere and like, you know, some of the cafes that I've been to. I, uh, I've just been eating here, so yeah, that's one way to really save, like, I don't know. That's, that's one way that I'm planning to save anyways. So yeah, I guess, I'm trying to think if I had anything else to say. If not, I'll say it in the next vlog. But, um, yeah, from here, tomorrow is Thursday, and then Friday, Lyle is coming, so I'm so excited. I've been, like, waiting for him to come. I'm, like, really, really really excited to see him um so yeah he'll be here friday morning and then the next vlog should be of him and i going on a little weekend trip to champagne <laughs> oh gosh i'm so excited i'm like so excited so yeah that'll be really nice um i'm just excited to see lyle honestly <laughs> as always of course don't forget to subscribe and check out the fashion squirrel as well over on instagram and hopefully i should hopefully i will see you guys next time okay Bye.